And we're here with Luke from Wilson Banash Audio. Luke, how are you today? Very well, thank you, Peter. Please tell us about your flagship speaker here. Okay, yeah, so uh, the Eminence loudspeaker, it's our statement loudspeaker. Um, stands six and a half feet tall, seven and a half inch wide baffle, um, and it's entirely uh, designed and hand built in house. That includes the enclosure, but also all of the drive technologies, including the mid range, the tweeter, and the isobarically loaded woofers that you see here. Um, so the Eminence is essentially a, an open window into a musical, a recorded musical performance. So it conveys dynamics, uh, timbre, um, timing uh, of the music as though you were listening to uh, a live uh, performance essentially um, uh, and allows the, the listener to basically suspend belief. Uh, and hear the, 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 the performer as though they were there right before them. And um, we achieve this in a number of ways. Uh, now, Wilson Benish is synonymous with carbon fiber composites. So, what you see in this uh, loudspeaker is our uh, advanced composite technology or ACT 3.0 monocoque. It's our very latest version of the monocoque. And that's really the kind of foundation of the whole loudspeaker design. Uh, essentially, the the carbon fiber composite uh, enclosure that you see here is it's like a reservoir if you like um, that um, allows the energy within the loudspeaker enclosure which is created by the drive units which are very powerful um, it's a reservoir that absorbs that energy uh, so that you have zero coloration uh, maximum transparency and um, all of the characteristics really I think uh, were probably conveyed in the, in the film that was made a short, short time ago, uh, showing the, the, the loudspeakers performing. Um, and that's important really to combine that material with the other components that we create. We create aluminium components in the baffle, um, top plate, mid plate and in the foot that you see. Um, and these materials are aluminium, they're not particularly well damped and that's why we combine them with, with the carbon fibre and that's really the critical element here. Is that your secret sauce? That's our secret sauce Peter, indeed. Um, and uh, I think the final thing that I would really touch upon, I suppose, then is, is a little bit about our drive unit technology. Um, again, uh, quite a unique imp implementation of drive technology. All of these drive units are built in-house, uh, relatively compact, seven-inch woofer. Um, so uh, in the isobaric loading, it's quite unusual, you have push-pull uh, drive formation. Um, what this is doing essentially is dividing the load by two. So rather than having a large woofer, we have two uh, woofers which uh, have an equal pressure. Isobaric means equal. Um, and so what we're doing here is basically dividing the load of the, the low frequency, which is, is the most difficult part of the, the mm. recorded piece to convey, mm. uh, in terms of energy at least. Um, we're, com we're dividing that by, by two, two woofers. So you have a very low, low resonant frequency of these two drive units, which allows the, the low frequency uh, uh, information from the source to be conveyed accurately. And the neat thing about keeping that drive unit as a seven inch woofer is that it couples perfectly with our mid-range drive unit, which is also a seven inch woofer. So the, uh, the mid-range drive unit is uh, directly amplifier coupled, so no inductors, no capacitors in the signal pathway. And that's pretty unusual really, and it for any of your listeners that have really good, high quality electronics, if you listen to a Wilson Banish loudspeaker, you will hear the quality of your electronics. You hear everything that your amplifier is doing because it is directly coupled with the mid range drive unit. And in terms of immediacy and clarity of the mid range, which is why everybody wants that sweet spot to be, uh, it's exemplary in that, in that regard because of this particular reason. So, um, so you have the isobaric, which is our low frequency woofer, you have the mid-range, and then the final thing to touch upon is our tweeter. So in this we call it the Fibonacci uh, tweeter. It is our latest tweeter uh, design. Uh, just like with the previous generation, which is the Semisphere, it's uh, a hybrid dome technology, so that's a carbon fiber uh, braced silk dome. Uh, so. With a silk dome, uh, the nice thing that you get with those natural uh, materials is that you don't get any kind of sibilance within the um, 
the, the sonic characteristic of that that you would do or you commonly do with hard dome technologies. Um, but the problem with the soft dome is that around about 18 to 20 kilohertz, the, the dome starts to collapse and you lose the pistonic response of the tweeter. Uh, what we do is we add carbon fiber cross brace, which uh, basically allows the dome to remain perfectly in, in, in shape and continue to perform pistonically and therefore it is flat to 30 kilohertz. Um, the advance that we've made with the Fibonacci is that we've added this 3D uh, additively manufactured uh, component on the front of the, uh, the tweeter. So it's decoupled, it's not actually part of the main structure that is in behind the tweeter. Um, and it's actually a waveguide, so the constructive and destructive um, uh, frequency that is coming directly from the tweeter, uh, when it interacts with that waveguide, uh, those uh, anomalies, if you like, are reduced so that you're basically getting perfect dispersion um, and um, uh, rule of flat response. Yeah. Um, and that covers all of our drive units, uh, it covers our enclosure design, and I think that's probably all that your listeners and viewers uh, need to uh, learn about the eminence today. Well, thank you very much for uh, walking us through uh, the new flagship Wilson Vanessa Speaker. It's a work of art. Thank you very much, Peter. Thank you, Luke. Okay, Brian, we're here in the auxiliary room off of the main listening room mm -hmm. here at A Audio Imports showroom in Parker, Colorado. And what do we have back here? Well, this is my little gallery, I guess. It's uh, I keep a lot of different speaker models back here, cables, accessories, and then when someone wants to hear, say, a pair of Act One Evolutions here, uh, I can just wheel them out and hook them up and, and then move them back in anytime. Okay. So, yeah, so I, I keep this, this used to be a little sound room, but I turned it into like a little gallery. Now let's take a look yeah. at everything here, viewers. Sure. So what models do we hear? We're panning around. So this is the Act One Evolution. 36,500. Mm -hmm. um, this is one of my favorite speakers in the line of the Geometry series from Wilson Benish. Um, it's a really sweet price point. Uh, behind them is a pair of BMC Arcadius. Um, this is a unique speaker. This is made out of solid ceramic uh, and this is carbon fiber. Next to that we have the Endeavor which is Wilson Benish's flagship monitor. Uh, the stands are part of the speaker. These are beautiful in that the the mid-range on this particular speaker is in its own carbon nanotube enclosure inside the speaker. Also, it's is no crossover in the mid-range. Like all Wilson Benish speakers, there's no crossover in the mid-range. So they have a very pure sound Mm -hmm. and they, they transmit whatever your amplifier is doing. And then behind here in the corner, we have some speaker plinths made by Wilson Benish as well. These are very good for putting under any loudspeaker. They, they're quite heavy, and on the back, you can... Oh, look at that. They have yeah, big spikes that screw in, and they, they plant themselves to the floor. And it's very dense, and it's great for a speaker plinth. And I, I swear by speaker plinths. I use I, I began using them right. six eight years ago, and uh, I won't run a pair of loudspeakers without having them on plinths. Yeah, yeah. They, they work great, yeah, and they I come in too. three sizes, so mm -hmm. we have them for every size speaker. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we have the stage three cables, different models hanging on the walls here that we can switch in and out of the system. Down here on the floor I have some of the the heavier power cords and uh, the speaker cables and one of the HP power strips. This is actually uh, one model down from the top model. Mm -hmm. We call the acrylic. The acrylic, I remember it well. Yeah, which is really nice because you can see how it's made and um, this is one of my favorite models as well. I use this in quite a few systems. 
and then I have some containers full of more cabling and, and then over here this is a pair of Discovery 2's and it also has the isobaric drivers down below mm -hmm. this is a great more affordable monitor 24-5 retail where the stands are part of the speaker as well with all Wilson Bennett speakers the stands are part of the speaker they're built in the crossover is actually in the stand and that's great to have the crossover yeah, yeah. out of the speaker yeah very and, cool yeah and these are finished in a, in a really unique um, silver carbon on the, on the sides on the sides and the back sides yeah they look beautiful right next to that is a pair of speakers from chroma audio this is a company out of Spain and this is a very unique speaker in that there's no screws in the entire cabinet and the side plates are actually finished in a 24 karat gold uh, leaf gold leaf and the cabinet is is a is a resin it's a solid resin material and inside they tune it they tune the inside of the enclosure with with Spanish uh, guitar wood yeah very unique and um, this is a line that I started bringing in a few years back um, I haven't done a lot of promoting on them but mm. They're very nice, very nice speakers. Yeah, they've been a gold show winner uh, uh, this year at Munich, and uh, if I'm not mistaken, last year as well. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so Excellent you're familiar line. with Yeah, very familiar with the line. Okay. Well, great. Well, thank you very much for a walkthrough in the annex here to the main listening room at A Audio Imports. Thanks. Thank you. Yeah. So I see you have AC control for your system here. Uh, please tell, tell us about the box. Yeah, so Peter, this is the Isoclean Zero Ohm dedicated uh, sub panel for, uh, you can use it for um, your high end audio system, your theater system. Uh, I have it connected to every audio video in my house. I have a dedicated feed from the street, a copper feed, dedicated lines, and a separate grounding system in the backyard. And this whole thing is made out of solid copper solid copper bus bars these are special Siemens 32 amp breakers that have been hand polished all the part all the metal parts have been hand polished inside and all the internal wiring is solid copper so this is a really good starting point for any high-end system right here this is where it all starts well there you go viewers you want to check that out and check your power out give Brian a call yep yep thank you much Okay, and we're outside of the main listening room here, and there's a little display area. Brian, what, tell us about what you have out here. Yeah, so out here I have a, a, the Metaxas amplifiers. These are from Germany. The company's been around for 35 plus years. Uh, the unique thing about these amplifiers is that they're milled out of a solid block of aluminum, and you can actually get these in any metal you want. You can get them in solid copper, titanium. Obviously, that's going to change the price, but... <laughs> Um, so the Metaxas uses aero grade space parts and their amplifiers sound amazing. Uh, this one is called the Icarus and this is an integrated, this is the Solitaire, this is more powerful, this is 150 watts, this is 50 watts. Um, and then I have some more displays, I have the Faytheon integrated amp right here. The Faytheon is Ypsilon's uh, entry level but it's, it's built just like the, the, the top flagship products. It's got transformer attenuation, it's got tube, tube input, uh, transformer output. It's 110 watts and 8 ohms, 170 into 4. It's been a very popular seller. It got the uh, Product of the Year Award and the Golden Year Award from Absolute Sound. And this is again the, the HB uh, acrylic power strip here. Mm -hmm. This is the Akita step up transformer that yeah. Peter is writing about right now. Yeah, it's a spectacular piece. Yeah, it's like a little brick. It is, it's beautiful. Yeah, beautifully made. And um, that's it for this little display area. But behind me, over here, I have a beautiful pair of Ypsilon's flagship amplifiers called the Set 100 Ultimate. These beauties are 240 pounds a piece 
and their 110 watt pure class A single engine tryout, 125,000 a pair. Um, I love these amplifiers. They do things that I've never heard any other amp do, and uh, we can always roll these in and hook them up for people that want to hear them. So that pretty much wraps up the little display area here. <laughs> very good. Well, thank you very much, uh, Brian Ackerman from A Audio Imports. Here we've come into the staging area and packing area and workshop. Brian Ackerman's A Audio Imports. This is here in Parker, Colorado. Mm -hmm. Brian, I see we have this StayCore platform you're going to show us here next. Yeah, so this is a new line I'm bringing in from Poland. StayCore, uh, they make probably the best pneumatic platforms on the planet for putting your high-end equipment onto. Um, made out of solid slate. This is the shipping case it comes in and we're going to show you what's inside. Let's open it up. Okay, Brian, now we've got the unit out mm -hmm. and uh, what are we going to do next here? Well, so basically this is a pneumatic platform so you need to fill it up with air. Once you put your component on, get it in the, in the position you want in your showroom. You, you hook up a, a pump to it. You can use a hand pump or an uh, a battery powered pump like this. Mm -hmm. And you simply fill up each chamber. There's three chambers in this one. And you fill them up with air until, the, until it floats the component uh, about four or five inches off the floor. Or actually, I'm sorry, not that much. I think it was five millimeters. Okay. And and then you're isolated from the floor. This is solid slate. This platform weighs about 140 pounds. This is their basic platform, so they have another one that's twice as heavy. Uh, this can hold up to about 140 pounds. And then they have one that holds up to 350. And they actually go up to 1,000 pounds that they can hold. Well, no kidding. Yeah. And that's, uh, that's one of the state core platforms that we wanted to show you today. Well, good. Well, thank you very much. And uh, thanks for the tour of the workshop and packing area and uh, of A Audio Imports in Parker, Colorado. Thank you. Thanks, Peter.